Oh, let's get back to my Karo Khan. So it, it, it was working well. Go Bishop G4. Play E6. Knight F6. Just take and go Bishop B6. Rook D8, obviously, is my next move. Take the knight or oh geez, you can take on a six even. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Okay, just what am I doing? Bizarre, bizarre, bizarre land. At least queen b3, which doesn't look right at all. Um, play, I don't want to play e5, I don't really want to take either. I also play H, no, H. <sighs> Let's go E5. Ugh. Knight E4, I can take if I want to. I don't, I think Knight E5 is a better move. One, um, play queen b4 or queen b6. I think I'll just go queen b6. It was queen c2, which is a little bit strange because they could have always taken, um, maybe just bishop e7 and king f8 or something. I mean, okay, bishop e3. Go queen a6, put pressure on the pawn in a2. Queen d6 was maybe actually a better move. I don't know why I didn't play queen d6. Yeah, queen d6 was a much better move. What am I doing? But the good news is it means he's also a little bit, little bit, he's starting to slip a little bit too. So that's that's the good news. Good news is that we're both starting, the quality of our play is starting to slip. So even if I'm playing badly, he's also playing a little bit badly now too. Go queen d6. Seven. I think I can just play rook d7 here. Okay, just trades. Interesting, because now without bishop g5 taking the knight, he's still got two bishops, and it should be slightly better for white, but it's not so simple to win, because this structure is actually unfavorable for white. Okay, let's just go, I guess, rook d8. He still can't play rook c1, because I just take the pawn. g4, logical. Um, I think I'll just play rook Rook c8, try to trade some rooks, whoops. If rook c2, I can just take and take the pawn on d5, which is very important here. We take and play rook c8, hit the bishop, probably play a6 next move. Yes, how do I want to do this? I want to bring my knight into the game. I guess I'll just go king f8. He's probably going to play king f3 maybe. Plays f3. Okay, so now he's trying to go h4, g5. I don't want to go king e7. Don't want to play knight e7, but I'll play knight e7. Okay, now normally here I would not do this, but I'm trying to win the games here. I could just trade rooks and draw quite routinely, but I'm trying to win here. So we're, we're going to try not to exchange pieces as, as long as we can. Okay. Play h5. I think I'll just trade. Play g6 to fix the pawn on a dark square for my bishop where I can attack the pawn later on. Now this... Oh, but if I play bishop c5, he's got takes. Okay. Um, let's do it anyway. So if he takes, I take. Bishop g6, rook d5 looks playable. Maybe it's not best, but it looks playable. And I'm up on the clock, more importantly as well, so... Um, Okay, he doesn't though, which is very nice to see that he didn't take trade bishop. Let's play rook h8. Because now I've got like knight b6 even. Knight b6 is a huge threat. Like knight b6. b6. 
does knight a4, I think. He goes a5. Am I blundering something? Oh, shoot. He's just got takes and rook c7. Okay, so we just go back. We just retreat. Set up again. We rook b8. So rook f8, I guess. Oh, whoops. I just missed that. Luckily, I'm not losing, I don't think. Very, very lucky. That was just a huge mistake on my part. Didn't even see bishop a3. Okay, this can't be right. So once again, I mean, he's playing something that it's very hard to believe. Okay, now I have to take the pawn. The eight. Check and take the bishop. Okay, two up. Two to go, you guys. That's two, two up, two, two down, two, two to go. Let's do four. Oh, we played c6. I thought we played e6. Okay. Life, queen c2. Knight d2 is fine. Knight e4, just a3. Two, two, two to go. Yes, exactly. Now, I could take on b4 and be really silly here. But let's not be really silly. Let's just play good chess. He finds bishop f5, which is actually really annoying. Click queen c1. Bishop e2. Castles. Pretty normal. Um, I guess I'll play c5 and f4. Why not? I'm going to go like knight f6. Play b4. Queen side expansion is on the, on, on, on the agenda here. Let's play a4 take. Two and a half to go. You know you can't stop at 19 and a half. Ah, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. Okay, now he plays f5, which looks really nice, but I don't think it's actually the best idea here for black. Okay, so um, I can play a5. Yeah, let's play a5 here. If a6, I'm just going to trade and then play like bishop c3, maybe rook b1. Now let's just. Uh... I have b6 too, but that doesn't make sense. So let's just take and go bishop c3. He's probably gonna play like g5, g3 and try to attack, but he always has issues on the uh, on the on the queen side here. So we'll play rook a2. Go rook a1. I want to play rook b2, but I need to support the pawn for when the exchange occurs. Okay, he doesn't like this. So okay, let's go rook a4, rook b4 instead. Or oh, um. Bishop f1. Oh, I don't have bishop a6. Oh, I'm such a dunce. Oh, I'm such an idiot. He, I, I thought I had bishop takes a6, but he just goes rook b1 shot. I'm such an idiot. Let's go back to c3. Again, same same pressure on the diag. I'm probably going to play like rook a2, rook b2 at some point. Let's go rook a2. I thought I had rook b2 here. Maybe just king f2. Or rook a, uh, let's just play rook a1. Let's just be safe and cautious here. Maybe queen e2 to hit the pawn. With queen b3, I think I'll go bishop b1 f2 probably. Go bishop b1. If g5, I think I still have g3. I can even just take and maybe play like queen h5 as well. He goes rook a8, so he basically he bails out on his initial idea. So we'll play bishop f2 here. Maybe queen h5 is an idea here. I feel like I'm close to being better here. I'm not quite there yet. So I'll play queen d2. He's going to play g5 at some point, I assume. Like now. So we'll go g3 and e f4. Oh, wait. Oh, geez. Can't go e f4. I just lose. I'm lucky that I have bishop g3 here, and somehow I don't just lose on the spot. 
H5. Yeah, this is a big problem. I guess. I guess I can go king f2 and somehow pretend to survive. Like, I mean, king e1. Bishop f2. And somehow I'm not completely lost yet, even though I should be. That's a free pawn, I think. I think he missed it. He was hanging a6. If takes, I can take and play bishop d1. I think I lucked out. I was completely lost. I got lucky. So lucky. I'm so lucky in this game. Bishop c2. Okay, so he wants to go for some queen b2. I don't see it though, because I go queen c1. If bishop a5, just king f1. If check, just king f1. And now he's got huge problems everywhere. Like, his pieces are overloaded. Now he just loses his pawn a6 is much too fast. And that's all she wrote. We can play rook a1. He can play h3, but I'll just go bishop a5. He just resigns. So one more, you guys. One more for the road. Let's try to finish in style. Play d5. Okay, he keeps playing this uh, exchange line. Go bishop h5. Okay, so he goes c5. Let's just go bishop b7. F4, probably play knight d7 maybe. No, maybe I'll just I'll just go queen d8. Get out of the line of fire in case it plays like queen b3 or something. Um, okay, now I can also just take. Yeah, you know, let's just take and play like queen c8. Let's play Gata style. Let's play Gata Kamsky style chess here. Let's just play queen c8. Castles, he'll play like b4. Let's play rook d8, obviously. Put pressure on the pawn on d4. Maybe I don't like a6, but let's, let's play a6. Gotta style, yes. Gotta style is basically play cramped, cramped positions that are bad, and then um, eventually unwind and just, just outplay your opponent. That's gotta style, which is very effective sometimes. Let's play knight d7 here. Gata style chess is very, very, uh, it's, it's interesting. Sometimes it works really well. Sometimes it's just, it does not work at all. It's, it's a mixed bag. Let's play knight d5 here. He'll take, um, I'll take with the pawn. Have I ever met Anatoly Karpov? Uh, of course I've met Anatoly Karpov. I've actually played Karpov in classical chess. I beat him in San Sebastian in 2009, I believe it was. I'm slightly worse here again. He's got pawn pushes, but um, but what 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 are you gonna do about that? Sometimes what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Um, I think I'll play bishop f6, put pressure on the pawn on d4 here. He'll, he'll probably play rook c1, I'm guessing, and then I'll play like knight f8, probably something like this. Okay, he goes bishop d6. Slightly surprising. I thought now I had knight b6 maybe or something. Something funny here. Maybe not. Um, Wait, actually, no, I can just take. He can't take. He can't take because he loses. He just loses material, right? He just loses. He just loses everything. The whole house collapses. Gotta style for the win, baby. Gotta style. Gotta style for the win. Okay, now, I just need to be a little bit careful. But Bishop c5 looks fine because takes. I just take and go b6. I'm up two pawns, and this is the dream. This is the dream. I'm also threatening bishop takes f2 check as well here, just to win win the rook on c1. That's just game over, my friend. We take and queen c1. G, G, yo, 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 yo. Okay, let's go rook a8, and he resigns. Okay, let's go again. One more, you guys. One more for the road. One more. 3150 is too round of a number. One more for the road. Let's find an excuse to play one more. Play d4. Don't stop at 19 and a half. My OCD will be off all day. <laughs> Funny. Okay, let's play g4. Let's play knight e5. Let's play knight e2. I 
I think e6 is actually playable here. Yeah, I think e6 is playable here. e6 and bishop d3. Why does everyone hate 19 and a half? Because, you know, we like round numbers. Nobody likes, like, half a point. This will end up being an eight-hour stream. I, I still have to put my laundry in the dryer. Actually, I haven't heard my laundry, so that's weird. Um, okay, let's see. So I can take... Queen c2 looks fine. The queen a5, I think I just go king e2 anyway, and then I'm just going to trade twice with check on, uh, on, um, on g6. This pawn's a really, really ugly here. Very, very ugly pawn structure. Your launcher wants one more spin. Very funny, chess bill. Let's take, take, and just take. I guess rook h6 or just e6, okay. Let's be traditional. Bishop c3, put pressure on the pawn on e5 here. Take queen f6. That's a, oh, that's an annoying move. How did I miss that? Oh, that's really annoying. Um, oh, that's so stupid. How did I do that? <sighs> okay, we're gonna play an end game. Let's just go h4. I wanted to move my queen, but I guess this is queen f3 nonsense is very, very annoying. Thank you, Mr. Munch Crunch, for the five month reset. Thank you so much. Okay, I think I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm going to play f3 to start and king e2 with h5. It's a very tricky structure here. So, like, if black... Wow, he just takes the pawn. Okay. That actually kind of makes me a little bit happy because now he doesn't really have these e4, f5 ideas anymore. So, um, let's play h5. b4, just bishop d2. And this pawn is never going anywhere because I can always play rook c1. So, like, he's got two sets of double pawns now. And he doesn't have these same breaks in the center. Okay, c5 is fine. Nobody's nobody's really concerned by that. But now I'll play e4. And now you'll look at these pawns. He never has access either. He just closes, he just ham, hemmed his bishop in on d6. So there are no ideas. Now f4 looks very strong, I think. Oh, well, he's got b4, so I do need to be careful. Let's go bishop d2. So even though black's up a pawn, look at these, these double pawns, these, these really, really gross double pawns. Now I think I can. I can smack him with a4. If he goes b4, I go rook c1, I win the pawn because he has no b5 square. If he goes a6, I just take, and he can't take back, so I win the rook, which is why rook h7 was such a bad move here. Wow, a5, okay. Um, I guess we just take. Again, he's got really, really miserable pawns here. So the question is how to use this, this uh, king's side majority to my advantage. I guess again I'll put the bishop back on c3. It makes sense to prevent this. He's trying to go bishop a5. Now I'm just gonna get now I'm gonna go for it. If takes, I take, and I'm gonna argue that these two pawns are going all the way up the board. So it looks to me like this should should be really, really good for me. I mean these double pawns, black's got an extra pawn, but it's a big extra pawn of nothing because the pawns can't go anywhere. So king f3 again takes just bishop f6 and then again i really want to create the two connected passers blacks pawns are just gross here two sets of double isos um okay f5 is playable h6 i think it's just winning though because on takes i can play g5 and h7 right g5 take h7 g4 king g2 no it just wins King F3. Right now, my universe can never be the same. I'm glad you came. Oh, the bishop was hanging on C7 too, which I didn't see. But this is also winning. Look at these pawns. These pawns, they, they were supposed to be so brilliant and they just went nowhere.
All right, you guys. So on that note, why is he playing on? I think he was hoping for a trick, tricky tactic or something. Um, um, one more or not? One more or not? 20 and a half, six and a half is what? That's 26, that's 27. One more to get to an even number. Last game, either way. Last game, period. You want to hear a rant about Elon Musk? Okay, so... So speaking about a rant about Elon Musk, so I think it was maybe last week there was an article on Business Insider and a couple other sites about about someone. I think it might have even been in Florida about a um, about a Tesla owner stealing electricity, plugging into an outlet on someone else's lawn, if I remember correctly. Played Bishop before, um, so we'll castle here. But yeah, so I think basically what happened is someone parked their Tesla on someone else's lawn and they stole a. Uh, yeah, and they stole like they stole electricity. So flash forward, I got home yesterday at like 5 p.m. I think it was, um, and sure enough, I got home at 5 p.m. and I I went I was gonna go out to get some groceries and um, and my driveway was blocked by some by some some Asian some Asian women in a Tesla. Like these Tesla people are just terrible. They're like the worst people in the entire world. Seriously, like Tesla is just the worst. Play like Queen A6 here. So basically I got home and I wanted to go shopping and my driveway was blocked by these, these Asian women and in, in this blue Tesla. Like, come on, like what is wrong with you people? Okay, let's play knight g6 here, try to trade off the knight. Um, so if takes, I'll just play hg6 of course. Uh, this is just a capture, I can do it, I don't really love it. I can also play c5 here. Um, now let's take and go knight d7. Or I can actually, I can trade first. No, no, actually that's a cute tactic. Rook d3, queen d3, rook d8. Is e takes f6, rook d3, f takes e7. He's making a queen because he covers both squares and I can't even go king f8. That's a nice little tactic. Tesla's also just a terrible company too. Like they, they lose money every quarter. Um, okay, queen c4 is no good. Okay, I'm gonna play knight c5 here, knight b6 also. Knight f8 also, um, or knight f8. Knight f8 is playable. C5 doesn't make sense. Knight b6 is the move that I'm looking at. Let's go with it. But yeah, I'm not a fan of Tesla. It goes without saying. It goes without saying that I'm not a fan of Tesla. And it'll be nice if their stock can go to like 225 by next Friday. That'd be a nice little, nice little uh, dip that would that I'd appreciate. Let's play. Um, that's just a free pawn. We're gonna grab the free pawn. Magnus has a Tesla. Yeah, Magnus has a Tesla. Um. I don't think anybody else. I mean, I know there's there's there was a video recently of Fabiano playing against the Tesla. I mean, I didn't really understand what the point was, but there was a video of Fabiano playing against. Oh, and I just wondered this pawn on a six. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, there was a there was a video of Fabiano playing the Tesla um, car. I think it was. It, I mean, uh, so he was playing. He was playing, yeah, this is, this is stupid. Now, now I'm like fine, but these double pawns just like, it's like, this is basically last game all over again, except I'm the one with the double pawns and I, I just played like a, like, a, like an idiot. Um, but, but basically, uh, one second. Okay, I'm play F5 here if I want to. It's, it's ballsy. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll just put the bishop on B6, why not? We need two. I'm gonna try to bring my king in as well. It's important. Oh, he's got some bishop h4. Okay. Um, bishop king d8. Uh, now I'm blundering. Now I'm just starting to blunder. I have to go back this way. The so king c7 allows knight d6. Um, okay, so he plays a4, puts everything on the light squares. Very, very logically sound. Uh, I can play knight c5, but I can't. Uh, can I win this? No, but I, I can't win, but I've, I've just got to finish the game. And it feels like a draw is actually kind of the, the result everyone wants to see here. So it would be kind of fitting if this ends in a draw.
Um, I think I've just got to move. I'm moving too slow. Though. What am I doing? Oh, but he can just take. What am I doing? Let's take and go G6. I'm moving way too slowly, but maybe I can still do something here. Of course, this is not what I was supposed to do. But I've got past pawns here that I can run up the board, maybe. And I just blundered B4. What, what was the point of that? Stupid. Let's go a5. And somehow this is a draw. Okay, what a fitting result. What a fitting result. <laughs> what a fitting result. <laughs> what a fitting result. Um, that's actually fitting. That's fitting that it's a draw. Very fitting. Very fitting that the game that's in a draw. And that's actually perfect, because now it's like you get you get the nice even numbers, 21-7. You don't get any like halves, none of that nonsense. You get exactly what you want. That's what everyone wants. Everyone wanted everyone wanted the, the normal numbers without the ugly half points. Um so yeah, and also 21-7 is 28, which is an even number. So um what no, I'm not saying my total wins, you guys. 28 is an even number. Don't don't get tricky. Don't try to be like, oh, you said an even number, you have to like win 22 games so that I go lose like two in a row and then I'm gonna be here for another like hour or something. Um but yeah. So very funny, you guys. You guys are very, very funny. Um oh I see I see I'm I'm getting I'm getting the I'm getting the hate already on Facebook. I see two of my friends are like they're talking about their one one person is talking about his best friend owns a Tesla, and this other guy's saying that his wife owns a Tesla. But Tesla's just like, I mean, Tesla's just terrible. Enough, enough, enough said. Enough said. Anyway, um, yeah, I have to do thirty, of course, of course, because like twenty is not thirty. Thirty is such a nice, perfect number and all that. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm I'm good though. I'm good. So um, yeah. So all right, you guys. So I think on that note, I'm gonna have to go do some laundry. Um. Uh, so I have to go do some laundry. I have to go make sure that I put my packing boots and uh, get my GoPro and and my uh, my headlamp and all and my helmet, all all, all the good stuff that I need to uh, need to um, do before I leave tomorrow morning. So it is now 11 a.m. So I am guessing that. Let me see who's online right now. A bunch of people online. Okay, there are a lot of people online. I'm guessing they'll still be around in like two hours. Um, yes, you do you do you do your own laundry. Of course, I do my own laundry. Um. Come on, what do I look like? Do I look like I'm a billionaire and I can hire like 20 maids? Like, come on, let's let's be serious. Or does it look like I have, you know, like I have 10 billion in Bitcoin like John McAfee? I don't think so. So, um, all right, you guys. So I think I'm <laughs> I think I'm gonna head on out for a little bit. Um, and uh, and I will be back at uh, one o'clock Eastern. So I'm gonna take a short break and I'll be back in in uh, in two hours. So I'll be back in two hours, everybody. And um, to keep it. Keep it chill until then. Um, so keep it real until then, and um, and uh, and I'll be back. All right, peace out, everybody.